In this video, we're going to be unboxing some Rilakkuma Remint. I did unbox some Rilakkuma Remint before on my channel, and that was in my 2018 Comic Con video. And that got me on a hunt, and I bought this whole box of British Tea Time themed Rilakkuma Remint. And for those of you who don't know what Remint is, it's just little miniatures of real world items. And these all of course are Rilakkuma themed. So you can see on the box all the different items you could possibly get. And I bought a whole set of eight boxes. So all of these items should be in here. So I'm just going to carefully unseal the package and open the box to reveal eight little boxes of Remint. So let's take out the first box. On the side of the box, you can see all the different sets. Super cute. So let's open box one. So cute. Oh my gosh, I love tiny things. So this tiny set, first of all, comes with a little canister of tea. There's the lid. When you take the top off, you can see there is ground tea painted in there. It comes with this little tray with gold handles, a tiny little creamer with removable creamer inside, a lovely little teacup and saucer, and of course, the tea is also removable. This is probably my favorite detail. It is a tiny little teaspoon with a little lump of tea. And finally, the set comes with a little Kurila Kuma. I think I'm pronouncing that name right. This set is referred to as the Tea Caddy set. Also in the box is this tiny little pamphlet that tells you it's the Tea Caddy set. And then on the back, is a little box that you can cut out and it looks like it's supposed to be a little pastry box. So here we have the gardening box and it includes Rila Kuma's little chick friend. I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. It's like Kirotori or something like that. And I assume this is the bird's house. It does open and close, and I believe the little bird can fit right inside like that. We also have a really cute green watering can, a ring of flowers, and a terracotta Rilakkuma shaped pot with a plant inside, just like that paper that comes inside this box included this adorable little picture on the back. I think this is supposed to be like some type of cloth. Yeah, I think there it is on the ground there. Here is what I believe is box number two. Let's see. It should contain these adorable items. Oh, it doesn't. This is box number six. And it is the scone set. Here's the little paper. And on the back is this adorable little picture. This set includes a tiny little teaspoon with a Rilakkuma head, a little jar of flowers, two little containers, one containing, I believe, what's supposed to be clotted cream. I think that's what you would put on a scone traditionally. And this must be a jam. And then we have a little plate of scones, all shaped like Rilakkuma. So cute. So this must be a whole one. And this one has been cut in half. And here is the little plate. Here's our next box. And it contains, this is the tea set box. And on the back looks like a little cutout to make a tiny little magazine. The items itself, oh my gosh, this is right up my alley. We have a teapot, what I believe is called a tea cozy to keep your teapot warm. We have a sugar bowl with some 
lumps of sugar. Some sugar tongs. Another teacup and saucer. This one has tea without cream. And we also have what I call a tea strainer. And it's when you pour your tea made with loose tea leaves into your teacup without getting the loose leaves in the teacup itself. Here's our next box. And it contains have the cupcakes and sandwiches box. And this contains some more little pictures. And this almost looks like samplers. We have a two-tier serving tray. We have an adorable little plate. Two cupcakes. Two sandwiches. One looks like egg salad and the other looks like watercress to me. And these adorable little serving tongs. Only three boxes left. We have the herb chiffon cake set. And it is box number three. On the back, we have little doilies to cut out. We have a little garden table that has a removable clear plastic top, a cake stand, a cake with a piece sliced plate to put our piece of cake on, a tiny little fork to eat it with, and this little planter with a cute little herb plant inside. Oh dear, our second to last box. Inside we have, I can't say for sure yet, but this may be my favorite box. It's the sewing kit, box number eight. And on the back you have little cutouts and I believe these are supposed to form maybe a little pattern booklet. The items it contains are of course, your sewing basket that has this super cute lid. And of course, any sewing kit has to have some spare buttons and a pair of scissors. You also need a pin cushion, two spools of thread, and an embroidery sample that looks like it might be complete. It even has a little needle sticking out of it. The reason I like this set so much is because I also embroider and cross stitch. Here we have the iced tea set, and it includes little Rilakkuma and a chair. We have a goblet of iced tea that is removable. But the wonderful thing about this iced tea is it has a hole to place your straw. We also have a tiny slice of lemon to put in our tea. We have tiny little berries that are shaped like little bear heads and they can be placed in this little dish. And then we have a book. On the back of our paper, we have what looks like to be maybe a placemat. Um, we have, a, I think, a bookmark. And two little images. I think they're supposed to be samplers that are also being worked on in the sewing kit, perhaps. Thank you for joining me for my Rilakkuma unboxing of Rement. I hope you enjoyed it. I love this Rement stuff. It's so adorable. But what do you think? Comment below.